Hey guys, welcome back. I've been away from YouTube for a while. As you can see, these are pictures of my garden in the mountains. It's spring here, so I have a garden growing wild. And uh, I've just been, you know, setting up the flower beds. And right now we have a lot of wild daisies, you know, growing in banks. You can see over here. And uh, I've got some beautiful beds of kana lilies, beautiful white lilies. Uh, all over the garden so we have daisies and white lilies kana lilies and i have a lot of irises coming up we had some white iris and now we have some purple iris and yellow iris coming up so when that is in bloom i'll probably share a few pictures with those of you who are gardening enthusiasts and uh, you know the main thing is getting rid of the weeds okay so we do a lot of weeding but it's hard work because it's it's a fairly large garden this is just like one tiny portion of it so it's it's uh, been interesting but the reason i got back today is because i found something very very interesting which uh, i'm sure you'll enjoy okay now yes this does have a little bit to do with this okay now i need to show you uh, what i found all right now you remember i shared with you that i'd seen um, our father's, um, you know, our father, the son, and the Holy Spirit in the clouds on the 21st of July 2017. Okay, now I'm just going to do a small outline. All right. I'll pause this and come back when the outline is finished. Okay. So here's where I could see the father. You could see his hair flying in the, flying in the wind. And uh, he's wearing a sort of a fur coat, fur cape. Sorry, you can't speak today. Uh, must be all the sun <laughs> while I'm doing gardening. Okay, and you, you can see his eyes over here. Okay, you can see his ears. This is a side profile. Okay, and his beard and his mouth. Okay, and he's like literally reaching out with both hands. All right, you can see that. Now let me show you Jesus who is over here. Okay, uh, so I'll do the same thing to save time. And you can see Jesus uh, on the right hand of the Father with his arm stretched out under this falling human soul, which I will uh, trace out for you now in case you can't see it. So this is what uh, it is. It's a child falling backwards, okay, with hands in the prayer position. Okay, the child is falling back. This is the hair of the child, the, you know, side profile, and it's falling backwards. You can see its legs, okay. And then, of course, you have the Holy Spirit, which I saw in the form of a white, a brilliant white dove over here. Okay. And uh, there was this uh, pretty scary thing, you know, you know with uh, bug eyes, uh, this dark evil force with bug eyes. I don't know if I can even draw it properly. But, yeah, so it's got its hands or whatever, its arms around this uh, child's throat okay and you can tell it's a really dark evil kind of a force coming at this falling human soul and you see father with both his hands and jesus with his hand okay so this whole picture of redemption reminded me of uh, and i give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand my father which gave them me is greater than all and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand this is in john uh, uh this these verses are from john 10 okay and where it begins is uh from john 10 22 and it was at jerusalem the feast of dedication and it was winter now this uh entire sky formation that i saw and I took, uh, it happened exactly at 1800 hours on 21st of July 2017. What's extraordinary is that 726 days from 21st of July 2017 lands us on a lunar eclipse of 17th of July, okay, 2019. And 888 days from 21st of July 2017 lands us on the solar eclipse. And do you know the, the, the lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse? Okay, from 717 to 888, there's a difference of 162 days. Okay, now you'll say, what's so amazing about that? And I'll show you. Okay, because, because if you take a look at this, okay, um, okay, wait, wait, before we go there, uh, if you take a look at this, um, one six, one point six one eight, 
okay is um, the golden ratio or the fibonacci sequence okay so let me just go there hang on i think i have it open somewhere wait a second i'll come back to the moon phases a little later okay so here so you have the golden ratio right um in mathematics all right and the golden ratio is also called the phi and it is 1.618 now if you take uh, 1.618 okay and you uh, round it off it becomes 1.62 okay and that is the exact number of days between uh, the lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse between these two codes that i was given okay the 717 all right, which was 726 days from 21st of July and 888, which was, you know, the 888 day from the 21st of July landed us on the solar eclipse. So you had the lunar eclipse on 17th of July and the solar eclipse on 26th of December 2019, which incidentally also began the count from the 1200th lunation, okay, which is again... The difference between these two dates, okay, 17th of July and the 26th of December is exactly 23 weeks, all right, and I can't see my cursor, hang on, hang on, <laughs> this is, okay, okay, I found it, so it's exactly 23 weeks, all right, from 717 to 888, all right, and what's really amazing is that it's 162 days between these two dates, and I've just shown you that that is the Fibonacci, uh, that is the Fibonacci golden ratio, okay, between the lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse. Now, what's what's even more mind blowing is this, okay, which I just found. If you take 726, okay, the which led us to 717, the 17th of July, and you take 888, right? What do you get? You get 1614, right? Keep this in mind. Keep this 1614 in mind because there's something I'm going to show you. This really going to blow your mind because it blew my mind now at the same time when i got 888 and 717 i also got this equation all right which also led us to the fourth day all right from jesus and trinity okay 888 to the power of three to the fourth day if you take the iterations you come to the fourth day and from the fourth day to the fifth day you transition into eternity which is given in the mathematical equation as 153. 153 fish of John 21, 153 fish of Benahe Elohim. Okay. Now, what's so amazing about this is that the fourth day, all right, you get, so we got fourth day from the 8 8 8, and I told you from the fourth day to fifth day, you transition into eternity. Okay. This was another thing that it was exactly 40 weeks from the spring equinox. Okay, which was 280 days exactly, the human gestation period, all right? So, and I'll come back, come back to that in a bit, all right? It also happened to fall on 26th of December, which was the 1200th lunation, okay? And it was also the fourth day of Hanukkah, 26th of December. So, all this was linked to 888. 888 is linked to the fourth day. Now, going back to this, the Fibonacci thing I was showing you. So, you have 726 plus 888 is 1614. What happens when you add the fourth day? Okay, add the fourth day. What do you get? You get 1618. 1618 is the golden ratio, the phi. None of this can be a coincidence. None of this. None of this is a coincidence. You know what's even more amazing? This 717. Okay. Well, sorry about all the interruptions. So, uh, just too much noise here. So, what I was telling you was that 717, okay, the third location, the third being the Trinity, okay, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, third location in Pi, all right, is at 888, location 888. None of this can be a coincidence. Phi is different, pi is different. One is the Fibonacci sequence, that is the golden ratio. So this adds up to the golden ratio. Can you see that? I mean, what are the chances? And pi is this infinite number with infinite decimals. What are the chances that the third location of 717 in pi is at 888? 
it's just uh, you know there's like a gazillion things that just it's it's mind blowing okay there's it's like one in a gazillion uh, chances of all this coming together okay now uh, let's go to the lunation phases, okay? The Brown's lunation calendar. Now, type moon phase today. You'll get these websites, all right? Don't go to moon giant. Go to the next thing that pops up, moon phases. Okay, this is time and date. Click on that. I'm just showing you how to reach that. And just scroll down, okay? Just scroll down and you'll find this table, all right? So the 1200th lunation I told you was 26th of December, okay, uh, 2019. All right, it's not showing here because it's showing moon phases for 2020. So the date is 2019 date will show in moon phases for 2019. Okay, so and then I had given you this chart, right? My last, or the last, last video. How everything is just coming together. Okay, so you know that 88717 was 726 days from 21st of July. Then 888 was... Um, the solar eclipse, okay, 88 days from the 21st of July, and between them was the golden ratio, okay, the 1.618. The between those two dates was the golden ratio, and then you had the fourth day. Now, what is a day? How do you define a day in Hebrew? Okay, so it could mean a period of time, okay, a length of time. All right, it could mean uh, uh it's so many. There's so many meanings. But this was interesting to see, okay, this is the Hebrew uh, 3117, which means Yom or day. It has 2303 occurrences. And look at this, the third meaning is day of Yahweh, chiefly at the time of his coming in judgment, often, um, you know, involving often blessing for the righteous. All right, which is what we're looking at, isn't it? Now, so when we look at the fourth day, if we take it in terms of lunations, because a day could also mean certain periods of time, Right, not just 24 hours, but could mean certain periods of time. And we had looked at this that day one was lun lunation 1200, which was 26th of December 2019. Okay, and it matched up with Revelation 12 2, where the woman was travailing in birth because we saw the ring of fire eclipse. The ring of fire is what a pregnant woman experiences when the baby's head is crowning. Then we had day two, which we considered as lunation 1201. Okay, behold a great red dragon. That's when coronavirus came on the scene. There are many videos about this previously. Sorry for the interruption. Day 3 is uh, Lunation 1202, which is 23rd of Feb, where the dragon and the woman stand face to face, and the Church of Nativity was closed on 5th of March. Okay. That was coronavirus facing Bethlehem. Sorry about that. My dogs are making noise. Monkeys are here. <laughs> Just a minute. And then day four would then mean lunation 1203 which started on the 24th of march and ends on the 22nd of april because 23rd of april the next lunation starts the fifth lunation starts on 23rd of april okay and this is the lunation where i said it's quite possible that the man child gets caught up harpazo 726 to god because this lunation lines up with revelation 12 5. do you see so I'm just saying this is pretty high watch in case the fourth day means the fourth lunation, then we are at the end, aren't we? We're here on 21st of April. This is also the Holocaust Remembrance Day. Holocaust is all about a burnt offering. Okay, the world is going to end in flames this time round. Holocaust means burnt offering. So from 21st of April going into 23rd of april because the new moon will be on will be here from 23rd april sunset to 24th april sunset before that this any time here okay 21st 21st april to 23rd of april my goodness it's high watch yeah so keep um, keep looking up brothers and sisters because this is what i find really amazing the fact that all this is matching up, okay, we have the golden ratio of phi showing up in both these numbers, okay, and both these things, all right, from this, as I mentioned, okay, as I mentioned, okay, time is running out on this app, so I'm going to close here, but keep a lookout because the count that began from the 1200th lunation, okay, which was 888, marked by the solar eclipse, it ends now in the next two, three days. So God bless you and uh, let's hope this is it. Okay. Bye. God bless you.